hi all welcome again and today's topic is how to create filters in jira or how to save your search in jira this topic is related to our two previous videos basic search and the advanced search jql search so if you haven't watched those videos yet then i'll recommend to go back and watch those videos before watching this one we will see what is the agenda of the video today in this video we will learn what is filter in jira how to create filters in Jira and add some quick filters in your Scrum or Kanban board. So what is filter in Jira? In my last video, I explained about the advanced search. We created search, we wrote jQuery to find some results and to find some issues. Now the question is, how can we save these searches for future? so that we can use them into our reports dashboards and the gadgets so these saved searches are called filters in jira when you created the filters of your own searches after that you can easily export the results share them with your teams etc there are the lot of benefits of creating the filters in jira in my next video i'll tell you about the dashboard how can you add the different different gadgets in your dashboards prepare a beautiful dashboard for your management for the reporting perspective and obviously for creating those beautiful dashboards you need the filters you will add the filters on the gadgets of the dashboards and take the benefits of the filters so in the last video i discussed a bit about the export share options of your searches and many more but it can be possible only when you save your searches as a filter so i hope you know the term about the filters in jira filter means when you save your search to use for a future perspective we will move forward and see how can we create the filters in Jira and this is gonna very exciting and very useful for you. So let's go to our Jira cloud instance. This is my Jira cloud instance and for the searches as usual we'll go to the filters and click on the search issues. This is the interface where we basically use the basic search and switch to the advanced and write our JQL uh, something like that. And you can see in the left sidebar, we have some my open issues reported by me, all issues, open issues. So these are the filters or you can see these are the saved searches which we can use quickly. As like, let's suppose if I want to open the viewed recently issues, then I can click here and you can see the JQL of this particular filters or search issue key in issue history an order by last viewed de decremented order and like that i can click on the my open issues and it will give me the list of all the open issues whose status is either in to do in progress or the waiting for support or maybe any other status that i have mapped into my workflow you can see like assign equal to current user current user means uh, me this is monica and resolution equal unresolved and order by again the decrement order so these are the saved filters or saved searches and as i told you the saved result or a filter you can share you can export you can open it into the microsoft excel so open it into the google sheet so these are the options which you can use and you can able to see this star options it will make the particular filters as a favorite so if you want to make it as a favorite then you can click here so it will add this search to your favorite filters and there is the options to view all the filters when you click on all the filters then it will give a page to show all the filters uh, with the name of the boards and the any other filters as well so as i told you like filters play a very important role in the board and as well as in the reporting systems too so we will see let's suppose if i'll take the examples of my project a which is key is pa so when i will click on filters for pa board it's showing me the jql project equal to pa and the order by rank asc it means it will give me the list of the complete issues of my project pa now i will tell you something about the board filter so we will go back to the board of our project we will go to the project A and this is my board for a sprint 3. Now we will go into these three dots, click on the board setting and in the general field you can see we have the few uh, details about the project board. So it's telling the board name 
admin of the board locations and here is the filter for that particular board let's suppose if i want to use the filters for this board which is maybe uh, used into the another projects as well then i can choose from here but right now i have only a one filter for the project pa and if i want to edit this particular filter i can click on the edit filters and now it will redirect me to this filters only filter for pa board and it will give me a list of all the issues of the project a so this is something called as a project filter now we'll come back to our topic how can we create the filters how can we say our search as a filter so let's go to the search issues again we'll make a search for a project pa only let's write here project equal to oh sorry pa and assigning is empty means i want to create a search for a project a where i want to see all the unassigned issues for that particular thing i'll write the jql like this now i will click on the search and it will give me a list of the issues which are unassigned now i don't want to write this query again and again i want to save my query as a filter or i can save this search so that in future maybe after one month or maybe maybe on a regular basis i want to check the unassigned issues for a project a now how can i do this for this i'll click on save as and you can see it is asking the filter name so i can write unassigned issues and then submit and it is coming under this section because i already marked it as a favorite search so in future when you will come to the search issues and now you want to see how many issues are unassigned under this project you can simply click into the unassigned issues and it will give the complete list of the unassigned issues there is no need to write the queries again and again so this is the benefit of saving the search or creating the filters how can you use these filters and maybe many more other filters use into the dashboard gadgets and make the beautiful reports so in the next video i'll tell about this now we will go and see about the quick filters how can we add the quick filters in our kanban or scrum board because as a developer we basically want the shortcut to search the issues so for this we can create the quick filters for the boards because as a developer we don't have much time so we always want to use some quick uh, searches so we can create some quick filters under the board where we can filter our issues quickly so let's go and create some quick filters under the board now i'll go to the project and this is my board and now i want to create some quick filters what are the quick filters so you are able to see these only my issues and the recently updated filter these are the two quick filters where you can filter your issues on the basis of these filters so when i click on only my issues then it will give me the list of all the issues which are assigned to me so as a developer maybe first uh, thing in the morning if i want to see how many issues are assigned to me then i can simply click on only my issues and it will give the list of the issues now the second one is the recently updated i can deselect it and recently updated then it will give me the list of the recently updated issues if you want to clear those two quick filters then you can click on the clear all and it will clear all the filters now i want to create more quick filters for this board so that as a developer i can uh, quickly do my work for this i will click on the three dots board setting and i'll go to the quick filter section and here you can see we have the two filters only my issues and recently updated which i have shown you 
previously if you want to edit the name of these issues then you can simply click here and edit the name whatever you want you can change the jql as well as i told you in my previous video jql is a jira query language where you can do a little bit programming to write some good filters now i want to create a one filter which will give me the list of the in progress task let's suppose i want to see my in progress task in the board so i'll write the name in progress and now now i'll write the jql for that so the status equal to you can see the suggestions here and when your jql will be valid then this particular red icon will be converted into the green one as i told you in the previous video so status equal to in progress yes and you can write down the description like in progress issues will come under this filter yeah and you can press the add button now we have in progress only my issues and the recently updated three quick filters in our board if you want to change the sequence then you can simply drag and drop like this and if you want to delete then here is the delete button you can simply delete it now we'll go back into our board and see yes so here is in progress when i will click on the in progress then it will give me all the issues whose status are in progress so like this you can create the quick filters for your boards and for developers and for the team members who are uh, working in a scrum board or a kanban board it is very beneficial because you can quickly filter your results and if you want to clear then you can simply click here and clear all the filters so this is all about the filters in jira i hope you got the concept of the filters and definitely if you want to go to the searches and save the searches and use the filters like this then you will feel awesome i hope you like this video and if you have any query related to the filters then please feel free to ask into the comment box and share this video and please subscribe this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification i want to ask a one questions to all of you who are watching this video have you ever created any filters before uh, please let me know in the comment box you have created or not thanks for watching thank you